What is going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Batman in multiverses. Giving you some tips and tricks you need to know about, some best strategies to keep in mind, my recommendation on perks, some fun combos, and more. So without further ado, let's get into it. Subscribe here for more multiverses content and let's talk about the Caped Crusader Batman. Batman is a great bruiser, ton of fun moves, utility, defense, and more. Let me give you my biggest tips regarding his moveset. First tip, just so you know, Batman is one of the very few characters that can actually dodge upwards. And that's great because that allows you for some startup on air combos like down attack, up attack you can dodge up and then down special however you want to handle that but keep in mind batman can dodge upwards a big utility i don't see a lot of batman players utilizing is actually a smoke bomb here down special first of all that is a hit so yes it can actually knock people out but while you're in this smoke you are invisible first of all so is your ally you won't get hit by projectiles and batman applies two stacks of weaken on the first hit so you see right there our opponent now has weaken at two stacks and that does continue to stack as well so now they're gonna be at four then they're gonna be fully stacked up boom this is down attack and break armor. Keep that in mind if your opponent's gonna be spamming armor moves. You can charge it as well. His neutral special move actually equips the bat bomb. And while you have the bat bomb equipped, your next hit that connects to your opponent will actually attach the bat bomb to them and then detonates after three seconds. What's really cool is while you have the bat bomb out, you can actually throw your batter ring and the bat bomb is now attached to the batter ring, then attaching the batter bomb to them. Batter bomb? Bat bomb? I don't know. But let's say you use the bat bomb and now you're on cooldown. What happens if you use your neutral special move? Batman will clank his fist and now he has electrified fist, thus applying electrify on your next hit. So now our opponent's gonna take damage over time. So either way, you wanna be either applying the bat bomb most of the game, and if that's on cooldown, you wanna be applying electric fist whenever you can. Any buff to your hits is great. Keep in mind your grapple hook can be aimed up or down, but it's not full screen. So keep in mind, you're not going to be able to hit your opponent from full screen. You can charge your up special for some insane damage. Keep in mind, you can charge your up special for some insane knockback. Also, keep in mind for your battering, if you hit it, that's great. But now you got to go pick up your battering back up. And if you do not, your cooldown for it is a lot more. But if you pick it back up, so let's say we throw it and we miss. Okay, the battering comes back to us. That's great. The cooldown is far less now. So you want to pick your battering up uh, as much as you can. Keep in mind your up attack on the ground and in the air both apply stacks of weakened. So you can do one stack and then two stacks. Smoke bomb, get him in there, more stacks. Batman's gameplay is super aggressive and really about applying a lot of weaken to your opponent. Weaken then makes them take more damage and more knockback, allowing for some real easy kills at pretty low damage. So you see, if they got four stacks of weaken, we can just like, easy kills. Also your smoke bomb wall, that's on cooldown. If you try doing it again, it still hits, but then no smoke comes out. Just a quick side tip for you. With Batman's entire moveset, my biggest strategies for him are honestly super aggro. People hate my Batman because I just do not let up on my opponent. Going in with an air side attack, which you can charge by the way. Your down air is a great spike. Three hit combo, battering, cancel, with more combos, up. Jump up and kill them. Batman's got some insane stuff. So strategies wise, throw out your battering as much as possible. Make your opponent not want to approach you. Throw that smoke down whenever you get the chance. You want to be invisible. You want to dodge projectiles. Apply weaken as well. As soon as you have one second to yourself, you want to attach that bat bomb to yourself. So that way, the next the next move you hit, now the pressure's really on. Smoke bomb, bat bomb, battering. Utilize these tools along with your punches and Batman is a menace. If they ever get too far away and you don't like that, you wanna close that gap, don't be afraid to grapple hook towards them. A great way to get in their face when they're trying to like zone you out or something. Now let's go ahead and talk about Batman's best KO moves. Most of your aerial attacks are gonna be awesome. Your spike, your down air here, your side attack charged, and of course your up attack in the air as well. Your uppercut on the ground is insane. And honestly, even your three-hit combo is actually pretty good. I like the micro jump and then down air. Really pops up in the air for some air combos here. A lot of your normals on the ground, including your down attack and your aerial normals are all just so good. For specials, you're gonna be using your up special quite a bit. And your aerial down special is not bad, but not the best killing option. Just really good if you're getting your opponent off you and doing some quick damage. Let's go ahead and talk about Batman's neutral game. What do you want to do in neutral? What do you want to do right here in this situation? First thought should be your tools. Smoke bomb, bat bomb. Now let's go in. Either make them come to you so you can apply weaken, or if you want to be aggressive, that's totally cool because you get the bat bomb attached now. Now the pressure's on them. They're trying to freak out, get out of this, and then psych. If you want, jump away for a minute, throw your batarang. Make them be afraid to approach you. Throw the smoke bomb down, batarang again, get in their face. Get them in the air and just start comboing them like crazy. Batman is super aggressive. You want to be in their face, yes, but also when you're not in their face, you got things you need to do. Keep those things in mind. A lot of Batman players forget about the bat bomb. They forget about the smoke bomb. You need to be applying all these things in the fight and then immediately just get in their face. Now, some starting combos I like to do for Batman. The side attack is always great twice into something else, like a special or even his battering. So you can do this, this, battering, and either dodge cancel that into another combo like this. 
And by that combo is done, that battle ring is actually folded back to you. You got your battle ring back and you're still ready to rock and roll. Or you can do side attack in the up special. I like to charge the up special just a little bit after that. But in case they dodge, they actually dodge into my hit. Or if you have the smoke bomb available, you can do side attack twice and down special. Get your opponent off you. Now you're in the smoke, getting all those advantages and making your opponent kind of scared to approach you. If you're in the air, I like to do down special, then down attack immediately. Then up special, up attack, up special get if needed. That's a really fun combo. And that's killing from 50%. Now let's talk about my favorite perks to use for Batman. So for Batman's signature perks, we had the precision grapple, which makes it so Batman's grappling hook reels him in faster and emits a powerful blast when Batman arrives at his destination. However, Batman deals no damage or knockback while the grappling hook reels him in. I more or less use it for recovery if needed and to get into my opponent's face when I need to, yes. But Bouncer Ring, I use way more often. Bouncer Ring, hitting an enemy with the battery Ring while it's returning to Batman will apply three stacks of weekend. And why I love that so much is because you can change the trajectory of your battery. Ring. So charge it and then hold up or down. And while it's coming back, that battering coming back will hit your opponent more often than not. So I got the smoke bomb applying stacks of weekend. I got my up attack, my air up attack. And now I got this on the way back applying three stacks of weekend. Your opponent is almost always weakened, thus taking more damage and more knockback. This is my favorite perk for Batman. Though I could see you messing around with precision grapple and possibly seeing some value in that. You're using your battering quite often in combos, or at least you should be. You're using that's flammable docks so that way your team or you can melee an enemy after hitting them with a projectile at your battering to ignore ignite them. So you hit with the battery and then keep comboing them. They're ignited, taking damage over time. You have stacks at weekend. You have your bat bomb or your electric fists. You're always applying some kind of debuff to your opponent. It's actually insane. Batman's not super easy to kill. He's not really a tank per se, no, but he does take a bit more hits, I feel like, than some bruisers. So last stand right here, while you have at least 100 damage, knocking back enemies applies weakened. So again, more weakened stacks, as long as you're above 100%, which you will be for probably quite some time of the match. Just more options to apply more weakened, I'm going to take personally. And for the third perk, as Batman is a bruiser and always in your opponent's face, it's so hard to get away from Pugilist, which is just increased damage. I love this one. I find more value in it. These other ones are pretty good. I use armor killer here and there, but Batman's down attack also breaks armor. More damage is what I need. I'm just not letting up on my opponent. Trying to get more weekend, trying to get more debuffs, trying to get more damage, and this does it for me. So breakdown, I use Bouncer Ring. That's flammable dock, Last Stand, and Pugilist. Let me know down below your thoughts on Batman. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Is he your main? He's one of my mains. If this video helped you out make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe here for more multiverses content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more guides news tutorials and more